In this video, I'm gonna show you the top three new best decks in Clash Mini after the balance changes. And the first one is this Wave Master 3 Elixir deck. After the recent buff to the Wave Master, he's now the second best hero in the game right now, in my opinion. And in here, we are facing a royal champion in the mirror map, so this will not be easy. So, in round number one, don't reroll. I just I'm not fan of rerolling in round number one. That's a really bad thing. I will ignore the mirror tile because the mirror mini will just feed the royal champion's ability and I don't want that to happen and cool that was great that we uh, ignored the mirror tile because he, he set it all of his clash abilities there come on oh no the reset is coming well looks like we are gonna lose round number one but not a big deal in the future rounds we will come back but I will not promise that will be easy because I think we are facing RC Clash deck and the mirror map which is the worst situation for us so in round number two don't upgrade any minis just try to put down as many minis as you can on the board because that's the better thing to do so in here I put down the dark goblin and I will not upgrade I will just put down a healing ranger of course and I will ignore the mirror tile because I'm really scared of his clash abilities to be honest and that was the best position for us because he missed all of his clash abilities now I have a really high hope on this round, come on, oh no the healing ranger is down, but the dart goblin is alive which is so good for us and perfect wave master ability in the right time, wait, wait that was the worst uh, ability actually, because of that the RC got the chain on top of my dart goblin, this is not an easy match for us as you see guys, but in round number 3 no mercy I will upgrade the golden giant to the first ability and putting down the bowler or upgrading the healing ranger hmm. I think upgrading the healing ranger will be the better thing to do because uh, of that the healing ranger will not let the RC to get the uh, hair resets on top of my minis and now let's see come on nice uh, nothing hits my uh, wave master beautiful wave master ability come on healing ranger one heal please and ah, nice, the speed is on top of the Dark Goblin, but the Dark Goblin is dead by the RC anyways. That Golden Giant will never die because of the Healing Ranger and his first ability and round number 3 should be for us. Now in round number 4, I will put down the Bowler and reroll. And nice, I got the Healing Ranger and I will move to the middle because I think that's not expected. And I will put down my bowler on top of the mirror and the mini P.E.K.K.A in the other side to protect my healing ranger against his prince. And now let us see. Come on. All we have to do is dodge in his prince. And what a beautiful bowler value. He hit our wave master with the spear goblin but the wave master was able to charge his ability and one more ability and we will be okay to win. Nice. The healing ranger is keeping everything alive and this should be another round victory for us in round number four the big comeback is coming guys now in the last round oh just what i wanted i will upgrade the healing ranger to the three star and i think upgrading the bowler is not that good so i will reroll and upgrade the dark goblin to the boast ability and i will put down the bowler in here and move my units like this and the mini pick on top of the mirror Everything is nicely protected and now let's see oh he got the hit on top of my wave master with the spear goblin again But my bowler ability was really insane and the wave master was able to charge his ability in the his last hit point And the dart goblin is pumping up and we got the big comeback against RC clash in the mirror map That's really impossible So that was deck number one and now let's go to deck number two and deck number 2 is this SK Royal Ghost deck and it requires zero skill because the Royal Ghost is just so broken and you will see it right now. Alright we are facing Countess on the healing temple and I got the worst possible uh, starting hand so I will reroll and I will put down the uh, Valkyrie instead of the Golden Giant. And I will move my minis like this and hopefully he will not have any clash abilities to eat my skeleton king and now let's see. Oh no the bowler. Come on, Mini Pekka, show us your power. Oh no, the Mini Pekka will be taken down, and the next one will be the Valkyrie. Now, our hope is all on the SK. Come on, one more swell, and we will be good to win this one. But the question is, can he get it? And no. 
Now uh, that countess will have a really decent back stats so on top of my skill thinking and round number one will be for him. Not a big deal because in the next round I am sure that I will not let that happen. So in round number two, nice I got the ghost so I will put down the ghost with the ice wizard. And I will move my minis like this and the mini pig in the back so that his minis will come and the... the how you call it? All of his minis will surround my Valkyrie. Hopefully, come on, let's see. Nice, look at that value from the Valkyrie. Literally, 6 damage with one swing. That's really insane. And the uh, SK got one soul, which is really good. The Valkyrie is down, but that's not a big deal because the SK has a lot of HPs. And one more hit, and we will be good to win this one. Nice. And in the next round, if I got enough ghost, I will show you the power of the ghost. So, first let's uh, put down the golden giant and reroll. That was unlucky. Nice. That's exactly what I need. So let's grab the golden giant and upgrade the ghost to the second ability. And scrap the mini pega as well. And upgrade the ghost to the third ability. That is what I want you to do. I keep the ice wizard in the back line so that his minis will come and surround my valkyrie and look at the value from that valkyrie literally that was eight damage from one swing that's really insane now the ghost just pumps up and his pika will never be able to hit my ghost because the ghost just has a really fast attack speed and the pika can't never hit it because the ghost will immediately go invisible and this will be round three victory for us and in the next round if i got one ghost i'll show you the power of the three star ghost and we got it now you will see why I am calling this deck a no skill deck because all you have to do in here is upgrading your ghost to the 3 star and the ghost will carry you and I will upgrade the valkyrie as well to the heal cut ability so that his countess will not have any heals on top of my minis and now let's see I'm always keeping the ice wizard because that will pull his minis on top of my valkyrie and that's the insane value from the valkyrie 8 damage per swing but it has been ended by one pika swing and look at the ghost the pika can't hit my ghost because my ghost has a really fast attack speed and my skill thinking will of course be down but the ghost will carry me and win me this last round for us and that's why i am calling this deck a no skill deck because all you have to do is upgrade in your ghost and deck number 3 which in my opinion is the best deck in this meta right now is this SK Clash EOS deck. It is really powerful and you can control all the board with your Clash abilities. Now let's jump to a game and show you how strong it is. Alright we are facing a skill thinking on the Electro board, Electro Valley. So in round number 1 I really got a good starting hand. In round number 1 what you have to do is putting down a 4 elixir mini with the spear goblin. I will put uh, all of my clash abilities in the middle lane because I think he will put uh, something on top of his electro tile and he did. Now all we have to do is not letting that king to get souls but he got one which is not good. Come on if my skill thinking get one soul we might win. Oh no this is impossible. Even with that soul I don't think we can win this one. Yep round number one will be for him. Now in round number 2, oh 3 EOS, that's interesting. Now let's reroll and you know what, it's better to scrap the EOS and put down the feature with the bowler instead because in that case we will not lose any elixir. So let's do this and move our minis like this. Nice. Everything is nicely protected and we got the spear goblin that will be one extra soul for my king hopefully. And one more soul and we will be good to win this one. Come on, nice that's two souls and the bowler survives so he's not letting his king to get the isolation for a little bit of time and I think we have enough power to win this one right? Now that will be a full SK revive and his SK is down now, we will be able to win this one. Let's go round number 2 victory for us. Now in round number 3. I will upgrade my spear goblin to more damage and I will start to reroll for the EWIS. That was unlucky. 
oh that was the most unlucky reroll in my life i will upgrade my bowler to the more damage anyways and recycle this fisherman and put him down here and the bowler with the prince in the left hand corner now let's see oh we didn't got any value from the bowler and the prince that's one swell to my king and his king has one soul which is not good come on oh i was not able to get that royal uh, golden giant soul and even with the golden giant soul i don't think we would have been able to win this one so gg's in round number three but in the next round hopefully we will get a uh, better rerolls now in this round can we get one electro wizard please come on nice we got one i will put down the electro wizard and scrap the spear goblin and upgrade the uh, prince to the damage increase i scrapped the spear goblin so that i got two extra elixirs and upgraded the prince instead because that's the better thing to do and now let's see that was beautiful i got the maximum value with all my clash abilities that will be the guaranteed win in this round come on nice use uh, ability and that was really a fast win in round number four now in the last round i want to upgrade the electro wizard so i will reroll at least i need two of them now let's see nice that's exactly what i need i will upgrade the eus to the third ability and scrap the sweep goblin and upgrade the eus as well again to the first ability and i will move the fish to here and nice let's see if we can get any values oh the bowler value is so beautiful now we just need one electro wizard ability and come on nice everything is stunned and no souls for my king till now one more ability please ears and we are going to win this match against a level 9 ASK player. In my opinion, this deck will be one of the best ones in this meta. And shout out to Merced, he's the one who I took this deck from him. His Twitter link is in description, make sure to check it. This is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. And tell me in the comment if you have new decks and want me to try it. Until the next time, peace out.